what are the best hybrid SUVs that you can buy? That's what we're going to find out. Welcome to Car Help Corner, where we help you, the consumer, master the process of car buying and car ownership. I'm gonna share the 10 best hybrid SUVs that are well-designed, reliable, and offer excellent value for money that you should be buying in 2025. This list is going to be made up of regular hybrids, not plug-in hybrids. So you get maximum fuel savings without the need to plug in and charge. So let's get started with the first SUV in the number 10 spot, which is the Hyundai Santa Fe Hybrid. The Santa Fe Hybrid is a good choice for those who need a three row SUV that's reasonably priced and not too large. It's very spacious and practical and Hyundai has some of the best designs in its class with extremely impressive technology that's really cutting edge. The hybrid system in the Santa Fe is not too bad either. It uses a 1.6 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine combined with a conventional six speed automatic transmission and a hybrid system that performs very well. It has decent power and good fuel economy for a three row SUV. Another great bonus is that Hyundai does have the longest warranty in the industry, so you get a lot of peace of mind there. One issue though with the Santa Fe is potential long-term reliability. Although Hyundai's hybrid system has proven to be reliable so far, it is a small turbo engine, which can have long-term repair concerns, and Hyundai quality tends to be somewhat spotty. That being said, this is still a very well-priced, well-designed SUV and a good choice to own at least under the warranty period. The next SUV that I'm putting in the number nine spot is the Santa Fe's smaller and less expensive cousin, which is the Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. The Tucson is a very similar SUV to the Santa Fe in many ways, just a bit smaller without the third row of seats, which makes it fine for those who only need a five seater. You get the same great technology, a very well-designed interior, the same long warranty, and the same great performing hybrid system as the Santa Fe, which Hyundai has been using for a few years now and is proving to be pretty solid. My concerns with this one though are the same as the Santa Fe, potential long-term reliability concerns with the small turbo engine and questionable Hyundai quality out of warranty. That being said, this is a well-designed SUV and it's fairly well-priced. Alternatively, those interested in the Tucson could also consider the Kia Sportage or Sportage Hybrid, which is identical in most ways. It does, however, have a poorly designed control setup and Kia customer service and supply tends to be worse than Hyundai. So between the two, the Tucson is the better choice. If the Hyundai's hybrid system does concern you, then the next hybrid SUV in the number eight spot is a safer choice and a great value buy. And that SUV is the Ford Escape Hybrid. Unlike the regular Escape, which I don't recommend, the hybrid is a very good SUV with a well-proven and fairly reliable hybrid system that Ford has been using for ages. It has a simple, naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine combined with a solid eCVT that delivers very impressive fuel economy. And not only is this a great hybrid SUV, but unlike many other hybrids, the Escape Hybrid actually has pretty good supply and is pretty easy to negotiate a great deal on with big discounts and amazing incentives from Ford. So it can be an excellent buy for a savvy shopper. The next hybrid SUV that I'm putting in the number seven spot is a new option to the market, but it is a great one. And that's the Toyota Crown Signia. This is a crossover wagon style vehicle designed to be a bit more spacious, more comfortable and more premium than the RAV4. And it is quite a step up. Think of it as a Lexus style crossover, just without the Lexus badge. The great part though, is that even though it's new, the Signia has one of Toyota's best hybrid systems. It's a three motor hybrid with an eCVT and a simple naturally aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder engine that has proven reliability and is both extremely fuel efficient and has great longevity. Moreover, the Signia is made in Japan and has impeccable build quality, making it an excellent long-term vehicle to own. 
It is expensive and the supply isn't that great, but there's no faulting this one if you are drawn to what you see. Of course, if you want a comfortable, luxury, hybrid SUV and you're willing to spend this much, then you may as well go with a Lexus, which is why the SUVs that I'm putting in the number six spot are a tie between the Lexus RX 350h and NX 350h. Both of these crossovers are extremely similar with the same amazing hybrid system that's shared with the Crown Signia. The major difference comes down to size. The RX is the one to get if you need more interior space. Otherwise, both have very similar interiors with good technology and both feel very luxurious. You're not going to be blown away by the performance of either one. But if you just want a fuel efficient, comfortable SUV that has proven reliability and will last an extremely long time, you cannot go wrong choosing between these two. Now we're really getting into the truly excellent hybrid SUVs, including the next ones that I'm putting in the number five spot, which again is a tie between the Toyota Highlander Hybrid and Grand Highlander Hybrid. Like the NX and RX, the major difference between these two is size. The Grand Highlander is quite large, an extremely spacious three row SUV. But if it's too big for you, or you can get away with a slightly less spacious regular SUV, then the normal Highlander is a perfectly fine alternative. Either way, you get a very well-designed and very well-made SUV with an extremely reliable hybrid system using Toyota's eCVT, a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter engine which has the best fuel economy in its class. Like other Toyota hybrids, these are tough ones to buy due to very tight supply and high demand. But if you need a lot of space and plan to use that third row of seats, these are the hybrid SUVs that you want. The next SUV that's in the number four spot is for those that want the most affordable option possible, or perhaps just want to have a small SUV. And for that, the go-to choice is the Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid. The Corolla Cross is the most affordable way to get into an all-wheel drive hybrid SUV. And fortunately, it is a very good one, using the same amazing hybrid system that's found in the Toyota Prius. With nearly 200 horsepower, more than enough for a small SUV of the size. And of course, it has phenomenal fuel economy. It is also quite a spacious SUV given its small size. And even though the interior is pretty basic, all of the necessary features and technology one would expect to find is there. For the price, you really cannot go wrong with this choice. But if the Corolla Cross is just too small for you and you don't mind spending a little bit more, then the go-to choice for a hybrid SUV is the next one in the number three spot which is the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. If you can get your hands on one of these, the RAV4 is really one of the best choices for a hybrid SUV. It's practical, well-made, extremely fuel efficient. It has proven longevity with an extremely reliable hybrid system, the same time-tested hybrid system with a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine and an eCVT Toyota uses in other models and the pricing is extremely reasonable for what you get. Supply can be a problem depending on your location and Toyota will be introducing a new updated model for 2026, which should be a really nice upgrade over the current version. But regardless, as it stands, this is an SUV that you really cannot go wrong with. The next SUV, however, that's in the number two spot delivers the same amazing hybrid greatness as the RAV4, only wrapped in a slightly nicer package. And that SUV is the Mazda CX-50 Hybrid. Thanks to a partnership between Toyota and Mazda, the CX-50 Hybrid uses the exact same hybrid system from the RAV4, which means you get the same amazing fuel economy, the same incredible and reliable four-cylinder and eCVT hybrid system, and the same everything really only it comes wrapped in the CX-50, which compared to the RAV4 has a much more premium interior, a nicer driving feel, 
nicer everything. The pricing is also quite reasonable. Like the Toyotas, you only pay a small premium for the hybrid option over the regular engine, making it a no-brainer. It is a wonderful package that combines the best of Toyota with the best of Mazda. And that is truly a winning formula that you can't lose with. And with that, that brings us to the number one hybrid SUV of the list. And that SUV is the Honda CRV Hybrid. This is an SUV that really delivers it all. All the space you could want, an extremely comfortable ride and comfortable interior with well-designed tech, and a hybrid system that's both fuel efficient and has proven reliability. It uses a two-motor hybrid design with a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine, one that's nearly as bulletproof as Toyota's, but actually even better performing with smoother operation. Basically, you can think of the CRV as a slightly nicer RAV4 with equally good value. Yes, it can be pricier, at least in Canada, but it also has far better availability without any ridiculous waiting periods, and it's actually possible to get great incentives and deals on them. So until Toyota addresses these supply issues, the CRV Hybrid is my go-to recommendation as the number one hybrid SUV available today. So there you have it, the best hybrid SUVs that you can buy. Let me know which of these would be your choice. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can also take a look at my other videos by clicking these links over here. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you need any additional car buying advice, recommendations, or help with getting a great deal on your next new car purchase, make sure to visit carhelpcan.com. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.